I was sure that one day it will finish because they cannot keep us there forever. Always I was saying, you are not going to die in this island. Yeah, you no have right to die in this island. Hello, sir. So good to see you. I mean, it was a long process to get Baru's out, and um, even when he got to the airport, we were nervous. And we were nervous the whole trip because he was flying on a UN passport, and these are always viewed differently by different governments. We knew he had to transit on the way to New Zealand, and we really weren't sure what was going to happen in transit or what the New Zealand government would ultimately do, even though they'd granted him a visa. So it was a very nerve-wracking experience. I was traveling with a UNHCR blue passport. So in Port Mosby airport, they asked me many questions and they created a very stressful time for me and the friends who were with me. They called many places, they even they called New Zealand immigration, I think, just to become sure. Everything was legal, but they were suspicious at me. So finally they let me get in the plane. So the first step finished. The obvious way was to come through Australia, but clearly he was not going to be granted uh, transit through Australia. So then we had to find which government would most likely let him make that onward journey. And uh, for us, the, the simplest way in the end was through the, through the Philippines. And um, even then, we knew there'd been issues with Iranian refugees at the Philippines airport, you know, not long before he traveled. And so that created extra tension. I stayed there for 19 hours, then flew back. I was very close to Australia, but you know, that was not my, a matter for me. Every time we knew Baruz was arriving at an airport, whether it was in Port Moresby or in transit, or even when he arrived in New Zealand, those were the times we knew something could go wrong. We were watching on the, the plane tracker. Um, we had people, you know, back in Australia watching his flight with uh, with great interest and trepidation and every time we knew he got through the next hurdle we were that a little bit more excited but a little bit more worried as well. So when I arrived in New Zealand I didn't expect that they you know <laughs> searched everything yeah, but finally yeah they said okay go. Port Moose in Philippines and in New Zealand you know and now you're free. Yeah, now I'm free, yeah. When I arrived in Auckland, it was very strange because for the first time, uh, you know, I look at Manus in a different way. I was thinking about surviving, how I survived. And I was happy that finally I survived. You know, I cannot walk away from this experience. But as a novelist, yeah, it's finished for me. I'm going to write about different things. <laughs> 